the chances of your license plates being stolen is dramatically increasing. A CBS4 investigation found a double-digit spike in plate thefts. Tonight, investigator Brian Moss is asking why it's happening, also has tips on protecting yourself. I'm during the class today, we're doing theft-resistant license plate screws. Welcome to the front line. Hey, do your thing. In the battle. I need the Phillips head. Against license plate thefts. It just makes it a lot harder for thieves to steal your plate. We don't want people to get their plates stolen. Denver police shot this video at a recent event where they replaced standard license plate screws with theft resistant screws for dozens of citizens. I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of these people that are, that are mostly involved in stealing these license plates most likely are not going to have that type of special tool. And numbers we dug up show this is a smart thing to do to protect yourself. In Aurora, license plate thefts nearly doubled between 2015 and 2017. In Lakewood, from 303 reported plate thefts in 2015 to almost 500 last year. And in Denver, from 2,300 plate thefts in 2015 to more than 3,000 last year. So I've just generally seen an uptick in that. Mauro Kasparian with the Denver DA's office says oh. these special yeah, screws like an are an easy something. fix. And they're just one-way screws, and it makes it hard to back it out and take off those screws. We'll do them while you wait. Um, while you're in the class, we'll change those screws out for you if you like. Denver police say criminals frequently want a clean plate to put on a stolen car to help avoid detection. Other thieves are just cheap. People may not want to register their vehicle. It's expensive. Everybody knows to register your vehicle, especially the first time. To protect yourself, police say park your car in a garage if possible. If no garage, park in a well-lit or heavily trafficked area. Uh, and of course, if you can, buy these theft-hardened screws. Do we have a longer or wider flat nose, Bob? Covering Colorado first, Brian Moss, CBS 4 News. Georgia.